Hello and welcome Sagittarius to your monthly tarot and astrology reading for January 2023. My name is Jeff. I'm an astrologer and intuitive reader here with you at Raise Your Vibration TV. This is a general reading for your sun, moon, or rising sign. It may resonate with you or not. It's not a problem. Take what you need and leave the rest. I'd like to thank you all for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you haven't yet, please do hit that subscribe button and support us here at Raise Your Vibration TV. All right, Sag, let's begin. Happy New Year. I hope everyone is happy and healthy and wealthy. Don't forget the wealthy part. All right, let's get your astrology up. All right, and we are going to look at the things that are going to be happening this month with you, Sagittarius. And first off, Venus goes into Aquarius on the 3rd. And uh, that's going to bring a more intellectual kind of feel to your love life, uh, kind of figuring things out, being spontaneous, being unique. And then on the 6th, on uh, Friday, there's going to be a full moon in Cancer in the 3rd house. So let's break this down and how that works. The full moon is a great time to have things come to light. And it's going to be in Cancer, which is the sign of emotions and feelings. And you're going to be focused on that. That's going to be like the full moon equals focus. That's what's going to bring things to light. And it's going to be about communication because it's in your third house. You could also be going on a short trip around the 6th, that time. Uh, it's for the weekend, so that would be great. So let's pull some cards and see how that works together. So excited for 2023. It's going to be a hell of a lot better than 2022, I'll tell you that much. That dumpster fire. All right, let's get some cards for Sagittarius. Hmm. Let's get a few more, please. Thank you. Can I get a few more or what? What's going on here? You're being sticky. You must be being hesitant. Your energy feels very hesitant, like you want to know the answers, but you don't. Typical Sagittarius fashion. <laughs> Not knocking you, okay? All right, first of all, what they want to show here is the Five of Pentacles. And when they show this card, this is a clear indication to me that we are in a fear mentality. Okay, there's, there's some fear involved in this. Let's see what this has to do with could be about the family a group of people being guarded see you're trying to all right i get it okay boom just like that how the message comes what's going on here is that there's a fear of failure in some point maybe it's with a group of friends maybe it's the family and you're really trying to protect the situation and i have to tell you that you're doing more harm by trying to protect the situation than actually letting it happen. And what's involved here is that you have to change the way that you think. Now, telling a Sagittarius this is very difficult. The way that you're thinking about this situation isn't working for you. And, and you know it's not. <laughs> you know? You know it's not, Sagittarius. And it's going to take some, it's going to take like an eagle eye view of what to do. So please just be aware of that. Um, it, it's all for the better, though. You know, we've got to get out of this fear of failure in order to vibe up to what we want. You know, and this has a symbolism of uh, an owl. That means use your wisdom. You know, you know better than this. You're, very an opt you're a very optimistic sign. But when things start to get, well, not the way that you saw it, there sets in a panic sometimes with you. And you have to straighten yourself out. And the one way to do that is not to be hard on yourself. It's just simply changing your thoughts and the way that you look at things. So just remember that, Sag, for this month, is get out of this fear of failure. Okay? You're the only one that can get you out of it. So just be aware of that. Now, as the weeks progress, uh, January 12th, Mars is going to go direct. Uh, Mercury is also going to be going direct. So there's going to be a lot of action that's going to be able to take place now. Before it was kind of, I got to hold back. I don't have the finances to do it. Well, that's going to change too. Hopefully it's because you get out of this fear of failure. Okay. 
So let's get some more cards and elaborate on this. I see you choosing the highest and the best for yourself, but you have to be secure in that. You know, don't be like, well, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to get there. That's not your job. Your job is to see yourself there already. There we go. Card that flipped up. They want you to remember to have faith. You're the sign that that is very faithful. You know what I mean? In relationships, you know, well, sometimes they're not. It all depends. It all depends on the situation. But this shows to have faith in this situation. And be patient with the process. Don't beat yourself up over this. Don't beat yourself up over the decisions you made. You're only choosing the highest and the best. And this shows the Ten of Swords, which means that there's going to be a payoff here. The ten of, anytime I see a Ten in Tarot, it is a payoff. And with Swords, they are represented by words here. You see your thoughts surrounding you in the mirror. You're beating yourself up over a situation. Have faith, be patient, stop being yourself up, stop living in fear, change your thoughts for the highest to you. It's going to happen, but you got to get your thoughts in line with what you want. If you're feeling like I don't have enough money, I make enough, I'm never going to have enough, I'm going to be poor, I'm not enough, not enough, not enough, you're vibing that. Money, riches, can't vibe down to you. You have to vibe up to them. And how you do that is, I don't care where the money's coming from, I know it's going to. This could be your mantra for the rest of the month. Try it. I do it all the time, and it works for me. Thank you for the large sums of money that flow to me quickly and easily. I am so happy and so grateful that money flows to me and expected and unexpected. It feels amazing. You say that three times, six times a day, nine days straight, three, six, nine, and you are going to be rich as rich. Let it rain, baby, because that's what it's going to do, okay? And I'm dead serious about that. I know it because I say that all the time. First thing in the morning, I get myself, because your mind always wants to go to fear. Oh, I got I got this bill to pay. Oh, I got this to do. Stop. Take a deep breath. Smile and say, thank you, universe, for taking care of this situation. Thank you so much. And you'll realize that the, you'll start to line up with the universe and just wants to spoil you with riches. But you have to be open to it, okay? I sure hope my camera isn't glitchy. It looks kind of glitchy. I don't know what's going on here. Hopefully, uh, I'm, I'm not stopping the reading. I can't do that. You know, and I can't do the reading over. So if it sounds like I'm going, roar, 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 it's because it's not your connection. I think it's mine. But all right. Now, this is a nasty habit you have. This is the devil card. When the devil card comes out in my readings, it says you have a nasty habit of going right to the end of things. Going, oh, my God, this is going to end. It starts with family and ends with family. You need to be around like-minded people. You need to be around your vibe tribe this month, okay? Now, let's go back to the astrology. On January 21st, there's going to be a new moon in Aquarius in your eighth house. That has to do with finances. That has to do with loans. That has to do with credit cards. That has to do with other people's money. This could also be an inheritance if some of you Sagittariuses are going through that. Money is coming your way. But what this shows is that you have a new opportunity to try some different ways in manifesting the things you want. The eighth house also has to do with healing and all things astrology, tarot, meditation, Reiki, you name it. It's all under that umbrella. And maybe this is time to reach out for that. Because you're watching this reading now. So the spiritual lesson is, is to get out of fear, have faith, be patient, stop beating yourself up, and let your thoughts work for you. Stop thinking the sky's falling, okay? Yep, let's do some more. We'll do three more cards and then we'll move on to the other decks. Let's see. Three cards, please, for Sagittarius. There we go. 
we'll take this one. And that one didn't want to be shown. All right, see, this is very indicative to you, Sagittarius. We have the horse, we have the the fire, we have the the playfulness of you and the enjoyment of life. Get that back. You need to get that spark back. You need to open up to the universe. Allow it to flow through you, through your crown chakra, right at the top of your head. Let it flow through you. Take deep breaths. Slow down. Relax. You've got this. This, the star card, is saying a couple messages. Number one, the one I get right out of the gate, the worst is over. Two, the universe has your back. That's incredible. That's just incredible. It feels so good to say that because I know it's truth and I know that you need to hear that at this time. And I say congratulations, Sagittarius, because once you get this and let go and know that you will not fail, you got this, you will be unstoppable. And all this worry and this fear, it will be washed away because you're making a concerted effort to change the way that you're looking at things and trusting in the universe that it's got your back. I mean, what a powerful message for this month. Powerful. That's fantastic. Hmm. All right, we got that one. Do we have some more? Yep, we got three there. And this one wants to come out too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the messages for Sagittarius. Let's take a look at them. The first one that wanted to come out is planning, partnering, progress. There's progress coming here. And I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to focus in on this card just to show you the symbolism here because I think it's very important to what's going on with your reading. Number one, we have a feather here. Okay, You're going to start seeing feathers in your, in your travels. Another thing is, is that we have the new moon. That is a new moon. The new moon is on the 21st in Aquarius. And not only that, there's a shooting star here. So it's time to make a wish. This new moon is going to be very important for you. What you need to focus on is making those dreams come true. Maybe if you have um, a partner, what you need to do is have them get on board with it too. And once the both of you put your energies into your goals, it happens twice as fast. Now, the other one that wanted to show is the two of earth. So get that passion back. The two of earth shows balance and prioritizing. And most of all, being playful, still being that playful you. Look at this, six of water. And what do we have here? <laughs> a feather. <laughs> Pay attention, okay? Pay attention. All right, we focus now. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, there we go. All right. So we have nostalgia. You know, you're going to think back to happier times, you know, and bring those forward and, and bring that into, don't let life bring you down, you know? Don't look at the dark side of things. Don't be what they call now black-pilled, you know what I mean? Where... It's just that instead of taking the red or the blue, the black is just thinking that there's no way out of things. And you can't do that. You know, you've got a nasty habit of going right to the drama and, oh, my God, what's happening? This relaxing, this all comes to me as relaxing. Let's take some time off. Let's go on a little trip. Let's do this. You know what I mean? Let's get away from this so to get my head clear. And then again, there's the new moon. This is very significant, Sag. Listen to this. There are huge messages coming through for you. The new moon again is in this. By the 21st, 22nd, put those intentions in. What you should be doing on this new moon and the full moon is releasing. It's endings. Getting rid of this fear of failure. And transforming yourself into freedom. I mean, that's a powerful message this month. That's Fucking fantastic. I love it when it happens like that. Oh, this is why I do the things I do. I love doing this. This message is very trans transformational for you this month, Sag. I hope, I hope this resonates with you, and I hope you pay attention to what's being told. There's very special messages here. That's fantastic. 
Okay, let's get some cards for Sagittarius, please. Oop, we dropped one. One more, please. Okay, Oop, we got more. Excellent. Where'd that other one go? Hold on. Oh, okay, that took some work. I guess the universe is saying it isn't going to be easy, Sag. It's going to take some work, but that's okay. All right, here's the messages. Number one, wow, it's always calling you out on that disruption. You're, you're too focused on it. You're too focused. <laughs> Unlike my camera. <laughs> but you're too focused on, oh, this is horrible. This isn't working out. You have to have hope. Hope. Trust the universe has got your back. It's going to take your spiritual strength. I mean, you can do this. You have a positive vibe about you all the time. Don't ruin this because you get material and spiritual prosperity. So all your fears are for naught. But I have a feeling that this month you're going to release those fears. And you're going to face up to them and realize that your thoughts are doing you damage on this. Take a deep breath. It's not the end of the world. Change your perspective. Change your life. Okay? They're really trying to tell you to stay out of the dark and step into the light big time. Because this is a person who is looking over all they survey. All they survey. Everything that they built. It's going to happen. But it's going to take some time and it's going to take some patience on your part. All right? Sometimes the universe wants to call you a brat. And I would say, yeah, that's a fair and accurate statement. You know, things take time. Yes, you deserve them, but you're blocking them. And it's you that's blocking them. Hard pill to swallow, Sag, but, you know, I'm just speaking truth here. That's all. I'm just looking for your well-being, and the cards are all pointing to it. You're focused on all the wrong things. You're worried about things going bad instead of things going good. And you get more things going bad. And you're like, well, why is this happening to me? Really? Think about it. you got to change the way you're thinking about it. Okay? Ah, maybe this is it, guys. Let go of ego. Mm. I'm just going to be a little quiet <laughs> for a little bit so you can let that soak in. Okay? I'm going to come back and... Five, four, three, two, one. Let go of your ego. And you all know what I'm talking about. Hey, I'm a Leo. I'm a fire sign too. My ego has always fucked shit up. Not this month. Not for you, Sagittarius. Uh-uh. Abundance is your right. Do you see what the universe is trying to tell you? I hope you do, because you deserve so much better. Give without expectation. That's another thing. And when you desire things, have no expectation, just seeing it happen. Expectation and re end results are two totally different things. What you expect, you never get. If you walk into a situation, neutral, you can go either way with the energy. You'll be flexible. Sometimes you're not so flexible, okay? Wow, Sagittarius, it's been one hell of a ride. Let go of your fear, let go of your ego, open up to the beautiful universe and what it has to offer you. All you have to do is go, let's go guys. It's my turn, let's get some moolah and some spiritual satisfaction and you'll get that this month. This year is going to be rocking for you. All right. This has been great for me. I hope you are well through this whole month. Thank you so much, and I will see you in February.